All right, how's it going, guys? So, um, today I thought we would take a first look at um, Brave Search. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, I actually got an email that uh, said that the beta test was ready for those who had signed up for it. Um, and being a big fan of the Brave browser, I was really eager to kind of try out their, you know, more privacy-oriented search offering. Um, I've been testing it out over the course of the last few weeks, and I've even ended up setting it as my default search engine. Uh, I think this morning I'd received an email saying that Brave Search was open for a global beta, and so naturally I kind of wanted to make a video about it that everyone could see how it works in comparison to some of the bigger search engines like Google. So uh, before we get into it, I thought we'd take a little bit of a background look at exactly what Brave Search is. So you might have already heard about this, but for those of those who haven't, uh, we'll get you caught up. Um, back in March, Brave Software had announced that they had acquired an open source search engine, um, along with some of the developers behind it, and it's called Clicks. It was a privacy-focused uh, fork of Firefox uh, that was based out of Europe. And unlike some other privacy-focused search engines out there, including DuckDuckGo, uh, which pipes in their results from Bing, and StartPage, who uses results from Google, uh, Brave Search does not rely on using a big tech search platform as its sort of backbone. Instead, it uses Tailcat, which is built on top of its own index and unreliant on others for its search results. Um, it also won't collect IP addresses or other personal, uh, personally identifiable information from its users. So with a little bit of that background out of the way, let's take an actual first look at Brave Search. Bring up a window here. So, the first thing you should know is you don't actually need to use the Brave browser to access Brave Search. You can use any browser you want. You can use uh, Chrome, you can use uh, Firefox, you can use Microsoft Edge, whatever you like, desktop or mobile. Um, all you need to do is just head to search.brave.com and you'll have access to the search engine. Now, uh, when you first arrive on the page, you're going to notice a very minimal, almost Google-like uh, experience. It's just a search bar and a logo. I really like that. Uh, I like that more minimal uh, sort of aesthetic. Um, now, if we take a look at the top uh, hamburger menu over here, you'll notice we have a few options. Uh, the first option we have, we can select our theme. We've got our light theme here, which is currently active, and we got our dark theme. I like that a lot better. Um, you'll notice that some of the options aren't available to use just yet. Uh, right here you'll be able to select your preferred language. Uh, this will give you uh, kind of the choice of what language you want to use while you're in uh, Brave Search. And you'll also have the option to set it as your default search engine right here. Uh, moving down a little bit, you'll, you'll notice we have the option to open links and new tabs. And the independence metric right here allows you uh, to see the percentage of searches that come out of Brave's own independence uh, internet index. The other percentage comes from third parties through anonymous API calls. Uh, you can click on the learn more button right here to find out a little bit more about how that works. So let, let's exit out of the settings real quick. And we'll do a quick search so you can get an idea of kind of how it looks. Uh, let's look up Linux. So, as you can see, the experience is already kind of sleek. Uh, our first results are from Linux.org and Wikipedia. And the box over here on the right shows data pulled right from Wikipedia about whatever topic we search for. Um, going down, you'll kind of find a um, in the news section. Uh, here you'll be able to see the latest headlines about whatever you search for. And like every other search engine, you can also see that Brave, ta or Brave Search has... Um, tabs that kind of allow you to you know search by category like here you'll see everything here you'll be able to see just images here you'll be able to see news and here you'll be able to see videos um so you know that, that just like google um we can also right underneath the categories we have three little drop down menus and these allow us to choose what region we would like uh, our search results to be served from. This one is our safe search settings. And this one lets you choose a, uh, a time range for where you would like your results served from. So 
you could choose any time. You can choose the past day, the past week, the past month, the past year, or a custom range of your choosing uh, to, to kind of set your own custom range. So, as you can see, Brave Search, it's really coming along nicely. And if you want to give it a shot, just point your browser at search.brave.com and give it a spin. Uh, if you like it, consider setting it as your default. See how it performs for you over time. It's only going to continue to get better. And the more we use it, the better we can help uh, the guys at Brave make it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this first look at Brave Search. I know I'm enjoying it. Uh, so you guys have a good day. And we will see you in the next video.